Hello and a very warm welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today's tutorial will be on geology and geophysics. We will be actually undertaking an analytical approach. So basically our major concentration will be on sums or application of the theory, por theory portion. So let's get started with the tutorial. Let us first read the first question which is this with which we will be starting today's tutorial. The question says... Brazilian test was conducted on a rock sample that has a radius of 27 mm, thickness of 22 mm. Now the failure load was actually 5 kN and the tensile strength of the rock is, so we need to comment on the tensile strength. So let us write the information that has been already been provided. Now this may be sounding old school to you but when you do write the information that is actually provided to you what happens is that there is the probability of missing out any information becomes really less i won't say it becomes zero but it becomes really less so that's why i follow this trick you sh i will suggest you to follow because if you do do this then in the exam you will not be able you won't be able, you won't be actually missing the information given to us and because of which many students because they think the information is not there and then they assume something and then the whole thing goes wrong so it has been asked so too much of suggestion and everything so let us come back to the question we have been asked to give or comment on the tensile strength which is given by this notation and we don't know so since we know a uh, relation which is 0 0.636 p okay dt into mpa so this is equal to 0 0.636 so this is 5000 the denominator becomes 54 into 22 so you get this as 2.67 in mm square so the value of d becomes 2r which is equal to 2 into 27 which is equal to 54 from where i got this value okay this is also in mm so this becomes your answer let us move on to the next question so the next question is with related to this particular diagram don't get scared we'll do it in just three minutes so the question says the average assay a an area of influence given by capital a of placer gold deposit of uniform thickness sampled at four location given to be this are given below what we need to comment is on the weighted average assay of the ore body. So first, yes, again the same method, I'll jot down the values. So, array value and area of influence at four points as point at point w a is equal to 15 and capital a becomes 25 meter square similarly at point x a is equal to 30 and capital a is equal to 23 Okay, so that means this part has been covered. Now we move on to point Y. So at point Y, A is equal to 12. And capital A is equal to 28 meter square. And the last one which is Z. So at Z, we have small a value to be 28. And capital A is 40 meters square. So that now I don't require the figure anymore because I have all the values written. So I'll choose another ink so it will become convenient for me. So 
द वेटेड एवरेज एसे इज गिवन बाय समेशन ए डॉट ए बाय समेशन ए सो लेट अस सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यूज वन बाय वन सो वी हैव थर्टी इनटू ट्वेंटी थ्री प्लस ट्वेल्व इनटू ट्वेंटी एट प्लस फिफ्टीन इनटू ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी एट इनटू फोर्टी सो दिस बिकम्स द न्यूमरेटर डिनोमिनेटर लेट्स सी वी हैव ट्वेंटी थ्री प्लस प्लस फोर्टी दिस बिकम्स इक्वल टू टू फाइव टू वन बाय वन वन सिक्स एंड द आंसर इज ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट सेवन मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैव सो द क्वेश्चन इज और द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द मिनिमम एंड मैक्सिमम वैल्यूज ऑफ डिजिटल नंबर ऑफ अ रिमोट सेंसिंग इमेज आर एट एंड थर्टी टू रिस्पेक्टिवली Now the digital data was linearly stretched between zero and two to five. Okay, using minimax linear stretching method, the post stretch integer d n value of a pixel with original d n value twenty seven will be. So we need to calculate. So it is given to us that delta n minimum is eight, and delta n maximum is also is equal to 32 and the delta n itself is 27 okay now we know that delta n stretch is equal to 255 255 delta n minus delta n min By delta n max minus delta n min. So this is equal to two to two hundred and fifty-five. We'll substitute the value twenty-seven minus eight. This is the numerator. Then you have thirty-two minus eight. This becomes equal to two fifty-five into nineteen by twenty-four. Which becomes equal to four eight four five by twenty four. So the delta n or this becomes equal to in decimals if I want to write two zero one point eight eight. So this will be the answer. So let me write. Moving on to the next question. So let us read our next question. The next question says the length and width of concave and convex slides of of a landslide is shown in the figure below. This is the figure. Now the dilation index has to be calculated of the line slide. So dilation in the length of landslide. Is equal to eighty by forty, which is nothing but two, and the dilation in the width of landslide is nothing but seventy by thirty-five, which is equal to two. Hence, the dilation itself becomes two. Now the next question says the vertical aerial photo in a vertical aerial photo the top and bottom tar built of a flat terrain is actually displaced by two mm. Okay, so displacement of tar on photograph denoting it by two is two mm. Then it is given in the photograph the distance between the top of the tar and the nadir point is hundred mm. So the distance between top and nadir is actually hundred mm. 
and it is also given the flying height of aircraft is 300 meter above so height of the tar height of the aircraft actually Three hundred meter. What we need to find is the estimated height of the tower. That means we need. To, if this I am denoting by capital H, this is small h. This is the height of the tower, and this we need to find. So we know for vertical aerial photograph, photograph, photo, photos, or photograph, we have the equation h. That means height of the tower by height of the aircraft is equal to displacement by the distance okay so we have small h is equal to h into d by r this is equal to 300 3000 by 2 into 2 by 100 so h becomes equal to 60 meters that means the estimated height of the tower should be 60 meters so with this we wind up today's tutorial. I hope this tutorial on geology and geophysics was helpful to you guys. If yes then don't forget to hit the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Share our videos and thank you so much for watching.